Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Samuel with the Cedar Pine Designs and today's project is going to be this 1960s Danish dining table with a built-in leaf. Unfortunately, the previous owner tried to sand it down themselves and blew through some of the veneer on the edge so they sopped it with oil and it has all these dark stains so let's jump straight into this one. So I start off by sanding it with 150 grit sandpaper and because the previous owner did oil and wax this before I had purchased it from them, it was very tacky and it was gumming up a lot of my sanding pads so I did end up going through a lot of those. Although the top coat did come off fairly easy, this has by far been the most pads I've ever had to use on a project. I used a total of 14 pads and I think I may have had to use a few more later on in the video, but that was quite a bit. And just when I thought that the main part of the table was tacky, this centerpiece, I don't know what was put on it but you can tell from that sanding scene that it was really dark that thing took so many passes with my sander to get it down to bare wood i think maybe because they had waxed it and then just you know folded it and put it away that it just was not coming off Oh, just to make things easier so that I can sand the aprons down to bare wood without messing up the bottom of the table, I decided to disassemble it completely and it was a little involved but at the end of the day I had to take off these sliders, there's four of them with three screws each, they came off fairly easy but I did have to disassemble it because I just figured it would make my job a lot easier. So off camera, I did sand the bottom edge of the lip just because it wraps all the way under. I'm just going to refinish that as well just so that just from a glance of underneath, everything is nice and refinished. Then I sanded all the legs down to bare wood using the same 150 grit sandpaper. I feel like this does a really good job at removing all of the top coat while still leaving a nice smooth surface and not closing up all that grain because if the finer you go with your sandpaper, the more you're going to close up the grain and it's not going to soak up color as much. So I'm just taking it completely apart and kind of just doing my due diligence. Since I already had this thing taken apart, I decided to pull these little hinges off so that I can use some Barkeeper's Friend and polish them up a little bit. They didn't really come out as good as I wanted to, but they will be underneath the table so they won't be visible. So to address those dark stains, I decided to try for the first time some oxalic acid. This one is actually called Wood Bleach. I ordered it from Amazon and from what I've seen from other videos, this stuff works really well on stains. I was just hoping that it would do something for these larger stains that I had. So you just mix it in some really warm water until it dissolves. Um, it says to add like two tablespoons, but I think I went a little bit more on it just so that it can penetrate that wood because it had a lot of wax in it just to penetrate and get down to that darker color. As I was applying the oxalic acid, I can tell that it really um, wasn't penetrating the way it should be because it still looked like it had some wax residue. You can see from that shot before that it looked like water obviously mixing with oil. It was penetrating the wood, but I wasn't having high hopes about this stuff, so we will see how it turns out. Once you coat your entire piece with the oxalic acid, you want to let it dry completely and the instructions call for you to go over it with water at least three separate times. So I just soaked it with water, 
wiped it off, let it dry completely, and repeated that process three times. And one thing I want to preface is that you want to wear safety glasses because this stuff, um, you know, I was using a rag and I seen that it was splashing around. So just wear, you know, glasses and some gloves and you should be all right. I wasn't really sure how I was going to finish this dining table and I was going to use like a teak oil or maybe a Danish oil, but I really like using polyurethane for its durability, especially because this is a dining table. So I did put some wood stain conditioner on the wood and I'm not going to stain it, but this does give the wood a natural rich color and it does dry like that. So that way I can put my poly over top of that and it is going to look really good. So these stain pens are really good for doing minor touch up on these lighter spots where the veneer has been sanded through. If you just apply a little bit, give it a little bit of air and then wipe it down with a rag, it totally blends in. And I have an idea for how I'm gonna blend it even more later and you will see that in a bit. So because I'm going to be giving it a top coat, I decided to put it all back together because it'll be easier for me to spray it all as one whole dining table rather than doing it in sections because then I'll have to do the legs and the top and the stretchers and everything all separate and it just saves me a ton of room doing it while it's back together. I'd like to take a quick minute to thank everybody for stopping by and watching my content it really does help the channel grow if you like subscribe and leave a comment in my videos I really want to grow this thing so that I can produce more content for everybody and I would really appreciate it and for those of you who have been long time subscribers already I really really appreciate you you know who you are you are in the comments all the time and I really really appreciate it So this part was a little sketchy. This table, believe it or not, is very, very heavy and it is pretty big and awkward to move around by yourself, especially flipping it around like that. But I managed to successfully turn it over onto its legs and reinstall the middle leaf so that I can open it and then I can get a top coat. So this bare stain and poly has to be my new favorite product that I discovered by them. I seen it at the store by chance and thought that I'm always trying to get a toner lacquer but I don't like using the aerosol cans and this stuff does a very good job at giving you a cohesive color especially when you have either veneer chip out or sand through and dark spots. This stuff, you every coat that you add it just richens it and darkens it a little so you can kind of play with it and see where you like it and I really really love this stuff. Now that the top coat is on let's go ahead and take a look at how it looked before and then we'll get a look at how it looks after. color on this table came out absolutely amazing. It is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. That toner polyurethane mix really, really does a great job. So really quick, let's go over the numbers on this one. I did pay $80 for this table, which was an absolute steal. I did have to drive an hour out of my way to pick it up and I spent maybe about $40 in material bringing me to $120 invested and I do have a potential buyer for around $900 and if that sale goes through that will be $780 in profit. Thank you everyone for stopping by and I cannot wait to see you on my next project.